there are a lot of people out there who have this conversation around how long people yep. wait to have sex yep. and how that then translates into marriage. And so that is where I was going. I, I'm not a classless person anymore. I've upgraded quite a bit since we started this podcast. Uh, <laughs> did, did, do you believe that that waiting period had a, a, a long, long effect and, and led to the, this moment? No, I do. I absolutely do. Pause. Really? What? <sighs> Bro. This is so cringe. And look, I get it. Logan's not RP aware, but you should at least be aware of something because, bro, you've been dealing with chicks for a minute if, now. If, if, keep it a thousand with you. If he was RP aware, number one, he probably never would have been with this girl. And yes. then number two, he would have never brought her on the podcast. Facts. Yeah. Bro. So, okay. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that, bro. Yeah. Even she's like, what? Like, <sighs> continue, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Now, what happens in a disagreement sorry, here? Because I, I, I don't see sorry, this often. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me clarify. I know. Would it have changed the outcome? No. No. Do I have a good amount of respect for it? And did I appreciate it? I absolutely did. I absolutely did. Pause. I, but and why? that appreciation comes from a lack of understanding women and not knowing that she successfully leveraged sex against him for compliance. And he went ahead and mistook that as her being pure. The moment. One of the biggest mistakes ever. And I really want you all yeah. to understand that. Yeah. He's mistaking her holding out as a sign of purity when in reality, all she did was leverage sex for, for compliance and he mistook that. That is why the red pill is so goddamn important, guys. So you can understand what women are doing. So typically, Logan meets a girl. Obviously, they're starstruck for the most part. Yeah, facts. He's smashing that first time, yep. first day, first night, doesn't matter. He's smashing, right? Yep. So she's experienced. She's been with a bunch of people and we see that in full of his caliber coming up. So she knows the game. She's not dumb here. She's very smart and she's very calculated in what she's doing. So she knows, okay, if I get it up right away, it may look like a certain way, like every other girl. So, I won't give it up right away. I'll make him wait, but I'll suck his dick. Pause. Her, not me. Um, <clears throat> And she played it smart. She gave him head the first night and made him wait for sex. Is that what it was? Yes. Was it BJ? Yeah, BJ. Why didn't they say that here? Well, they, they referred to it, but they didn't say it directly. Okay. Right? right. So, She's smart. She's playing the game correctly. She gave him an um, awesome BJ from what you're saying. Pause. I, I wasn't there. And then made a wait for a period of time. Then he got to smash. But to be honest, though, like you said earlier, the moment Logan, Logan follows that pattern or follows that, that like a rule or, for example, yeah. the leadership, he's following her lead. Because remember, he's the man. So you're following her lead. You already lost. Not bro. only that, he, he has way more value than she does. Yeah, way, way like more. this is a classic example of a guy not understanding their value. What do I, I've said this on a pod? I'll say it again. You know, shout out to Roll Tomasi. We've talked about this ad nauseum. A woman's greatest superpower is you not understanding yours. One more time for y'all. Really, I really want this because guys, this isn't just a, a wrestling debate slash let's make fun of Logan Paul. Like, this is a learning lesson for a lot of you guys. A woman's greatest superpower is you not understanding yours. Yeah. You got to understand that everything about female nature is about deception, okay? Makeup, waist trainers, heels, wearing certain clothing to uh, um, accentuate the way that they look, BBLs, eyelashes, make like all every hair extensions, all right? Everything about filters on the internet. Yep. They're not, you don't know when they're on their period. You don't know when they're in heat. You don't know if they're attracted to you or not. Women typically don't show attraction. Everything about female nature is deceptive, guys. So it's your job to understand what the hell's going on. Because if deception is a two-part game, if you're de deceived, it's your fucking fault for not knowing better. Yeah. And a woman is going to absolutely play on you not understanding your value. You might be a fucking millionaire, successful, attractive, etc., and a go and pretend like that A is, isn't fucking awesome. And she'll act like she's still more special than you. Don't buy into it. Most of you guys have more value than most of these women, but they will sit there and make you think that you don't. They'll overinflate their value while you simultaneously deflate your value when you actually bring more value. Guys, understand your worth with these hoes and they can't do shit to you. Yes. Now, this is very important. So we're not saying just as much smash you on the first night. We're not saying that. We're just saying generally, if it goes into you, let's say the second date, third date is gonna happen. Any more than that, why is she holding back? Is she really into you or is she playing games? So in this example here, um, it seems that she's playing games with Logan. Because honestly speaking, I guarantee you, guys she made in the past, who was even a thought? Smash. She's more experienced than him. She's older. Older. She's dealt with um, a guy, more, more high guys level on partners. His, yeah, she's had more high level. That's a as key. You, as you're going to see. That's actually a key. 
She's had more high level partners than him. Yeah. Logan's over here smashing groupies and random IG thoughts, etc. Like she's dealt with more guys. And you can tell by at a higher level. How she's talking, she's running the show. Absolutely. <sighs> Absolutely. Bro. Absolutely. And, and let me tell y'all something, bro. She thinks, like in her mind, she probably still thinks that she she has more value than Logan. Oh, like, for, for sure. She, she, like you can tell from her the way she behaves. Her manners, etc. She actually thinks she has more value than Logan, and that's why I tell y'all, Instagram is one of the most toxic things ever. This woman, literally, number one, isn't even that hot. Number two, she's a aged model, way past her uh, her peak, and she's with Logan, who's about to hit his peak while she's on the decline. She should be literally kissing this dude's feet on the camera, but she's not. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is the world that we live in, where women that have lower value than their partner still think they deserve more. That's why crazy. do you think our niggas wrote? Fucking, why women deserve less? I wrote this book to teach you guys that a lot of these girls are not that special. A lot of y'all bring more value than a lot of these girls. And even in one of the most gross explicit examples where we just read his Wikipedia versus her Wikipedia. It's clear that it's a mismatch. She still thinks she brings more value than him. And here's the other thing. This girl, guys, is a microcosm of many modern day women and how they think. If a girl has a following on Instagram, she thinks she's better than you. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is how these women think. They're brainwashed. So you need to understand your value and move accordingly. This is why Tradcons don't know what the fuck they're talking about 99% of the time. Oh, just marry a God-fearing woman who is Christian, Muslim, or devout to her faith, and that will save you. No, it won't! No, it won't! Because these women don't believe in God anymore. They believe in Instagram and social media, likes, comments, DMs. That's their God now, okay? In the clout age that we have now, these women, a lot of the times, are godless. And guess what else happens? Let's say they are religious. Let's say they do believe in God. Let's say they go to church all the time. They still reserve the right to switch up at any time and go back and revert to feministic ideals and who's the what's good who's gonna take the help when that happens you are she'll be a good god-fearing woman when you marry her yep. you give her a relationship when half the money's on the line etc and then as soon as he wants to switch it up next thing you know she's gone and then that god-fearing woman now becomes an instagram fucking mark zuckerberg fearing woman i need the likes i need the attention etc this is what trad cons can't get through their fucking head it's not 1950 you don't have religion you don't have, you don't have shame you don't have all these placeholders in place to keep women from doing the bullshit that they're doing nowadays you no longer have the training wheels of all these things that used to prevent female hypergamy from running wild on you so since these things don't exist anymore men need to adapt and this is what trad cons can knock you fucking right and it fucking makes me lose my fucking hair jordan peterson doesn't talk about it ben shapiro doesn't talk about it matt walsh doesn't talk about it candace owens doesn't talk about it none of them talk about this shit about how modern day women have changed and they're no longer god fearing so since they're not god fearing and they're instagram fearing and they're gonna get care more about getting disabled on instagram versus not being going to the church you need to acclimate and switch up your style if it was 1953, I would tell y'all, hey, man, it's okay. She's a religious girl. Go ahead and wife her. 2023, that's not the fucking solution anymore. It's not. He said it, he said it bro. The Monko, the God is club now. <sighs> that is very scary. All right. We're almost done here. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was classy. I <laughs> Fair use. Kind of always wanted my fiance to be that. Not Cleopatra with Buzz. the fucking lock on her vagina. So that's scary. What did you his say? His ideal. I sound like freshers. What? No way. He was stuttering. Chris, shut up. His ideal woman. Here he has a projection of how she should be. His perfect woman. And that is. Made me wait for sex. So his idea of a perfect woman. Is going to make me wait for sex. But as we know. With genuine desire. It doesn't always work that way. And what's happening is he's projecting his own idea of what it should be or how it should go. And as a result of her playing the game correctly, she got him. Clever. She did a very good job. I will say that. Good job on her part. Here's another thing, too. He he had uh, an image in his head. Yes. She was intelligent enough to see that, right? So gotcha, bitch. bitch. And then she went ahead and sold what he was looking for. Boom. That's and it. And guys, women do this all the time, especially older women. They will sit there. And they'll see what you like, 
Like if you're a guy that's like, oh, you, you know, I'm looking for something more serious. You know, I'm looking for a girl that, you know, meets, meets, um, meets these requirements, et cetera. If your body's high enough, she's going to become a chameleon, fit into those parameters to get what she wants, which is a commitment. They will do that, bro. You know what's funny? You're going to be like a Pokemon. Use confusion. So she don't know what she's about to do next. Yep. Or what you want. Yep. Anyway, sometimes. He telegraphed early on that all he does is run through hoes. So she's like, oh, okay. I want commitment. I'm 31 years old now. I want a guy to take me seriously. Let me not revert back to what I was doing 10 years ago. Let me let me leverage sex for compliance. His focus should have been more projecting, okay, tell me about you. I don't want to give you too much about me. And as a result, she was like, damn, I don't know too much about Logan. I don't know what he wants. So let me try to fit, fit a mold and maybe guess it. But now she knows exactly what he wants. Oh, my gosh, you know, nigga. Bro, and especially you know. older women, they're going to do this. They're going to play the game, bro, yep. so that they can get what they need. Because you guys got to remember, it's do or die at this point when they're in their 30s. Think of it, as, or die. Think of it as alien versus predator. And she's a predator. She will get you, bro. So, all right. Uh, almost done here. I, I liked it. I respected it. I, and I, and I, I, I needed. Know. I needed to make sure you weren't just some fucking. She, she thought I was love bombing her. Fucking yeah, watch out. I right? I but, there was something you know, going I like on. you. You like me. I have a crush on you. A lot. We're gonna be together for a long time. Pause. I could just be womanies. Hold on. I thought he was love bombing me. What does that tell y'all, guys? This has happened before. Yes, she knows how to deal with it. She said it. I need to make sure you're gonna fuck me and then leave me. Yep. Okay. I want you. You know, we're about to see. Her past experiences yeah. with other men. Yeah. And just it just tells you so much from this clip. Bro. She's saying it in real time. Like she literally, like, Logan was exemplifying certain things and she vetted him. She did the screening. Yep. Versus is. him not screening her. Oh, she's good, bro. She's good. Is that a uh, red flag right there? It is. Actually. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah. I don't know where MoFat asked one, but you need to write that down. <laughs> to the bathroom. Uh yeah, bro. Okay, it's we crazy. can stop here. You don't you don't want it? No, no, the, the we might have another gem here. Well, the next one is going to be more telling, but uh, okay, okay, okay. It's, cool, it's cool, about cool. in here. All right, all right. Th then okay. Next okay. one. Okay. 